What is it guys? Today I'm going to be starting a new new um season for Space Agency Sandbox. I believe this is going to be starting off season seven. And this time I'm going to keep it that way. We're gonna have a long, long journey. And if you're wondering, I've pre-planned what we're building and how we're building it. We're going to build a huge satellite and keep building onto it until well a lot so far i have over 17 individual modules that we will be sending up into space and that doesn't include um uh sorry um that does not include what's it called S uh, supplies and stuff like that okay so uh if you're wondering i got rid of the uh STA satellite and got rid of all that other space junk and I am playing on my new phone so graphics are going to be completely better um, and look a whole lot better so uh, the first step is obviously we're going to start out with the station core and you can follow along with me I'm going to be putting um, I'm going to be showing you all where I'm going to build the station oops sorry I passed it up Let's use a big one. If you're wondering, I am now playing on a Galaxy S7. And also, I'm recording with uh, AZ Screen Recorder on Max. Um... Uh, I think it's like 2020, it's like 2240 by, I can't remember, but it's max everything. So I'm recording with like 2240 by whatever the rest it says is 24 megabytes a second. And yeah, so let's launch. <clears throat> T minus 20 seconds. Five, four. Three, engine start. One, booster ignition and lift off. Tower cleared. So basically, we're gonna start off by getting this hub into space somewhere <coughs> around in space. I don't know where we're gonna put it, but um, there's gonna be seven total parts. Um, we're starting with the hub. The next thing is going to be the control room. Approaching engine and that's going to go on top. So if you're step. thinking of the Earth's uh, orientation, if you look at the hub, it's going to be opposite side of the hub. So the dark side, engine I guess you'd say. Stage step. If you're thinking step. of that type of orientation. Ooh. So let's see Fair here, step. we'll probably head down here, just cause. And I want to head um, some distance out of home, at least a hundred. This is good. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into the nav, and here is the coordinates, negative 97, negative 1693, distance 1680 from the sun, okay, station, we're going to clear that, we're going to hit new, we're going to call this the new station, save it, so there's the new coordinates, we'll back out. We're now going to put up um, well I'll tell you actually we're going to put up the tug because we're going to need power and I forgot that part. I wasn't thinking but we're definitely going to need power 
So let's get the uh, a station tug. That should be impaled. Nope. There we go. Okay, let's launch. T minus twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, engine start. Booster ignition and lift off. Tower cleared. So this part, basically, I'll just attach the tug to the hub. Um, I did forget the part where we're gonna need, um, in it, where we're gonna need power and fuel so that we can keep it from floating off in space. It's not gonna change anything. If you're wondering, I'll still be able to do the way I was hoping uh, to build this. So. So I ended it uh, when it, before it had um, fuel run, run off because if I had done it Fairing before, step. oh, a little off there. If I had done it before, let's spin around. If yeah, if I had done it before or when the fuel ran out, I would have been in space with the whole module and I had to go, I would have had a... Payload released. Ooh, wow. That was close. I did not realize how close it was. We'll, uh, let's reverse up to it, and we'll use the Okay, so we're going to spin around here. There we go. Let's get power to it. Um, of course, there's no air. <laughs> but um, um, let's check our thing real quick. Our battery looks good. We have plenty of battery left. Okay. So I'm going to save it here. Just to make sure. Let's rename it before I do anything. Don't know why this is pulling up. Season seven. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what's 
going on. Why I can't change the name. I have no clue what's going on. Okay. Let's try this. If I'm spelling it wrong, oh well. I did. That's fine. Whatever. Let's just get back to the game. Okay, so what we're going to do now is attach a third piece. And that's going to be the... Another hub. And we're going to... Or, I'm sorry. We're going to attach the control module. By that, I'm talking about... This. So, let's add that. And what I'm going to add is uh, the big rocket, the lead on, SLS boosters. Let's use a medium just because we can, and it's probably going to stop faster. Okay, let's launch. T minus 20 seconds. Five. Four, three, engine start. One, booster ignition and lift off. Tower cleared. So once we get up there, I'm basically going to attach this um, to the dark side, if you're thinking about it, to the bottom of the screen whenever you're orientated uh, of, the, of the hub. It's been a long time since I've played this. <laughs> Fairing sap. Skirt sap. It's okay, I was a little late. I will be getting a case for my phone soon, so I will be able to hold it better. Right now it's kinda hard for me to hold and orientate the phone at the same time so I don't cover up the mic. We're almost over there. Okay, we're almost there. Sorry for the background noise, if there was any. Payload released. So they're gonna go bad pretty soon. That air in there. The battery is on here. 91%, we're good. Okay. Guys, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, um, and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. And sorry, still getting used to uh, the, the new recorder. Sorry.